Hey everyone, it's LaDawn. Season's greetings. Um, happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and all that good stuff. And many of us are really in really upbeat, happy, um, you know, cheerful moods because this is such an exciting and such a beautiful time for our families and, you know, for us as individuals. But I want to help us to remember that this isn't a joyful season for everyone. Um, you know, for those who have experienced a loss in their family, you know, over the last year, this is the first, you know, sort of holiday season they'll be going into without those loved ones. And I was listening to a song on the radio by, I can't even remember his name, but he, <laughs> he's like uh, Kirk Franklin, uh, next level, as it pertains to speaking over the gospel song. <laughs> As the singers are singing I cannot remember his name but I'm gonna put a link to his latest song in the comment section below because um, it's called live through it and I have to tell you I was uh, driving home today and I was like in tears just listening to this song because it really reminded me of the time period where I lost my mother and my grandmother all in a year and a half period of time and my dad and I you know my both deaths took us completely by surprise. Um, my grandmother had a heart attack um, and my mom had bone cancer that was really aggressive and so she was admitted into the hospital and she passed away all within about a week. So it was a very very trying time emotionally and that first holiday season was so difficult for us to get through. We didn't even get together my dad and I um, and for several years after that Christmas season we didn't get together I would come down with like an illness like I think it was probably psychosomatic and you know he was feeling down and so it was like I was always sick and it it's so interesting it would start around Thanksgiving and eventually I realized that you know this was my body's way of you know kind of managing the pain the stress um, and just the challenges of dealing with the loss of loved ones because you're still grieving that loss and it's really painful. So many times this time of year, um, you know, we're like, Merry Christmas and so on and so forth. And, you know, we're like, how are you? And, you know, it's almost like a rhetorical question because we're not really, you know, we're not really waiting really for the response. <laughs> we're just waiting for, you know, our one or two word response and then to move on to the next thing. But I really want to challenge us at this time of year to connect with those folks who we know um, lost a loved one this year because this is the first time they're going through the holiday season without their loved one. I want us to reach out to folks who have perhaps gone through a divorce or had you know, their parents or people close to them going through a divorce and reach out to those people who maybe have had difficult financial times or it's just been emotionally challenging and draining to them because at this time of year the weight of all of that sits so heavily on their shoulders so i just want to say to those of you who find yourself in that situation right now that you know like that song says live through it you know try to go grow through it and pray through it um, because it won't always be that way you will always carry that pain but it'll be more um, it'll be easier to manage I would say probably is the best way to put it so you know I just want us to recognize that you know we're all in different places we all grieve differently and we all have different life experiences and so if this holiday season is joyful uh, for you and merry and happy embrace that and take a moment to reach out to a friend or you know an extended family member because this time of year that spirit of depression that spirit of um fear, that spirit of anxiety, it really causes people to sometimes go through, <laughs> go through it. And so let's um, extend that joy, you know, extend that sensitivity, extend that kindness and love 
um, toward them at this time of year and just kind of check in and make sure they're doing okay. So let's not just say, hey, how are you? But really, you know, mean that. Be intentional about that question, reaching out to them and making sure they're okay. Um, because they need us and that's what friendship is about. That's what this season, you know, we talk about the birth of Christ and if he gave us no other mandate, it is to operate in love. And I think that's the best present we can give to someone who is going through. Um, and, you know, maybe their, their wounds don't show on the outside, but you never know what's going on on the inside of a person, in their hearts and in their minds and in their spirits. So I would just challenge us to reach out to them and make sure that they're okay during this holiday season. I am wishing you guys love and joy, happiness and peace during this holiday season. And I will look forward to talking with you soon. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and peace and blessings. Bye bye.